Hi, welcome back. This is the VR Fisherman, and uh, I've been gone for a little while. Took a little break, um, played some other games, but now I'm back. I'm back to help you guys catch sharks today. Yes, that's right. I am going to show you my method for catching sharks, and hopefully you can use this method to uh, make it easier on yourself. So, let's start off. Hey, here's a few of my sharks. I have a lot more, but I didn't want to overcrowd the tank. <laughs> Okay, let's go over here, and let's start off with tackle. What are you going to want to start with in tackle? You are going to want to start with a casting rod. Now you ask why not a spinning rod? You can use a spinning rod, that's fine. Um, casting rod has higher drag and higher line length. What drag is, is drag is going to um, be a little tighter. It's going to help you get those snaps. Um, if you want to use a uh, spinning rod, you can go right ahead. Um, you're going to be fighting the sharks a little bit longer, but you can still bring them in, both spinning and casting. Um, but I always do a, a casting rod. As you can see the drag went up, line length went up too. You can cast a lot farther with a casting rod as well. So, casting rod, check. Right there, 1200 bucks. Casting reel, check, 800 bucks. And a spinner. I use spinners. Um, you can use pretty much any lure. Uh, I use spinners pretty much all the time as I'm fishing for sharks. Best for small species. You want to attract small fish so that you can get the big sharks. Sharks like small fish. Now you can also catch sharks on the medium sized fish. Um, they do like the stingrays. Um, and they like the batfish. So yes, you, you can also go for those. Uh, you, you get a get a lot of sharks on the bat fish as well so all right so that's the gear um, if you have not unlocked salt water that's fine you can you can use a freshwater casting rod um, make sure you get the best freshwater casting rod and the best freshwater casting reel if you're gonna go shark hunting all right um, but if you're level 16 or whatever you, you've unlocked it you go ahead and make sure you have that saltwater gear okay now we're going to go into fishing and you can get it on all the saltwater levels um, i personally like to go to level 20 i do level 18 a lot um 19 yeah i catch a few sharks on 19 17 is really good um i catch a lot of sharks on level 17 but the ring gets after me for a while. I can't, it kind of drives me nuts. Um, 16 is also one of my favorite places to fish. I probably fish 16 and level 20 um, more than any of the other levels when I'm shark hunting. So I'm sorry about that uh, phone there, but uh, <laughs> it happens. Um, but yeah, level 16 is a good one to go to. Uh, I'm gonna go to level 20 just cause it's brighter for the video. All right, so here we are in level 20. Another thing that I do that helps me catch sharks is I go into my settings and I make sure I am using one-handed controller, right, both, or left. I, uh, I'm right-handed, so I use right, and I fish one-handed. You can do it both-handed. If you want to do it both-handed, go right ahead. If, if you feel comfortable fishing with both hands, you do you, man. Uh, I switched to one-handed. Uh, I was having a hard time when I started playing this game trying to catch a shark. I bet I lost 15 of them. Um, somebody said, hey, switch to one-handed. I switched to one-handed. Uh, the next shark that I uh, hooked, I caught. So from now on, I always fish one-handed. Plus, it's a lot better on my shoulder. Um, doing two-handed was just killing my shoulder. So um, this is a whole lot better on my shoulder. Um, pretty much cast anywhere you want and pray for a, a little fish or a medium fish or a bat fish or a ray um, if you're on expert level you can get a shark ray um, that's a shark um, I'm trying to go after uh, the mako shark right now I'm gonna try to show you how to bring in a mako um, if I get a tiger shark I'll show you how to bring in a tiger shark but 
Yeah, if you don't get anything for a minute, go ahead and reel it in a little bit. Feel a little tug. I do have my line color turned off. Um, tell you what, when I bring it back in, I'll turn my line color on because it might help you guys in the video. Let's see what I get here. And it's going to take off, so that's probably going to be a medium or a large sized fish. Now, as you see, I do have my pole straight up. I do the same thing when I'm catching sharks. Bring my pole straight up. Oh, it's a mahi-mahi. I'll bring that mahi-mahi in, change my line color, and then I'll see if I can get a shark. Pretty much all your large fish. You want to keep your pole up in the air. You want to keep that tension on there. Snapping it. You're just going to snap it to the opposite direction that they jump. You're going to feel the vibration. Uh, after a while, you don't need the line color anymore. You feel the vibrations to where you can feel if it's going to snap or not. Um, and if you, and it feels like it's going to snap, you just let go of that trigger. Stop reeling. Maybe put your pull down a little bit just to give it a little bit of slack so that your line doesn't break. All right, I'm gonna bring this mahi-mahi in. There we go, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one because I need some money. I need to get it back up to $300,000. And let's go ahead and go back into my settings. I'm gonna turn my line color on for you. Just so, I don't know if it'll help you with the video or not, but uh, I'll turn it on and it might help some people. Feel any tugs? I'm gonna go ahead and reel in a little bit. No tug, reel in a little bit. A little bit more. Oh, there we go. He's just a nibbling on there. I'll get him. Man, take my line already. There we go. All right, so that's going to be a small one. Small or a medium. He didn't take off on me. Oh, and we got a shark. First thing I do, I stand up. That's right. I stand up when I catch all my sharks. Let him run till he stops. Pull the opposite direction. Try not to let it go blue. Try not to let it go red. Going red is okay. It can go into the red a little bit. Um, blue is bad. You don't want to have hardly any slack. Make sure you got that pole straight up in the air. Keep that tension on there. Snap to the left side. He jumped to the right. Keep that tension right there. Keep reeling it in. Go to the opposite direction. And he's going to basically swim three times, and then he's going to jump. I think that was the second time. Yep, third time he, he jumped. As you can see, I actually snapped to the wrong direction. But I got the snap anyways. I didn't know if you could hear that snap. Oh, I missed that snap. You'll miss a snap now and then. Uh, the game itself sometimes misses snaps for you. Um, but I do find standing up, keeping your line straight up in the air. Keeping it nice and tight. There we go, I got that snap. And this is the same technique on all the sharks. All the sharks, all the big fish. Keep that line straight up in the air. To get a little bit of red, that's fine. Make sure you get all those snaps in that you can. He's gonna swim three times, and then he's gonna jump. 
Now he's probably close enough that he's not going to jump. It's almost here. And another little trick you can do when you get him close to the boat. If you got your guardian big enough, you can walk out to the end of your boat, put your line out, and tap them in. Make sure you don't trip over anything. And there we go. I'm going to keep that guy. 2,211 credits. I need all that money. All right. Well, hopefully that helps you guys catch a shark. And uh, hopefully uh, you go out there and catch a shark uh, easily now. Um, if you need any more pointers, just let me know. I'll be glad to answer any uh, questions you have. And happy shark hunting. Bye-bye.